So we're going to see how your toilet can infect you with COVID-19. So uh, recently, there is this news in the Indian Express, in Shorts, and the Economic Times that the residents of high rises in Mumbai make up 90.3% of all the active cases. Now, what is the relation between high rises and COVID spread? What is the relation between toilets, high rises, and COVID spread? We're going to look at that. So, what is a high rise building in India? Any building higher than 15 meters is a high rise building. And in Mumbai, high rise buildings mean real high rise buildings with multiple stories. So, why the high rise? building is likely responsible. You know, so for that, we need to look at what happened in Hong Kong in 2003. There was an epidemic called the SARS COVID-1. It was called SARS, uh, basically SARS 2003. And this spread in the city and it spread across the world in many countries. And there was this curious case of this building complex called the Amoy Gardens complex. In this building, 321 cases of SARS COVID-1 spread very quickly in the year 2003. This is the building. This is the typical residential high-rise building that's replicated across the world. And these are the same kinds of buildings which are also in Mumbai and Delhi and Noida and Zirakpur and so many places across India. So why was this disease spreading so fast in this high-rise building complex? So there was this report, you know, which was on the outbreak of the severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS at Amoy Gardens in Kowloon Bay, one of the most famous downtown areas in Hong Kong. And they did some research and they did some investigations. It's available on this website, info.gov.hk. You can actually go on the link and the link is also in the description down below to see this report. And what did they find out out of these in this investigation was that the environmental investigations stated that there's this fixture in the toilet in the bathroom floor drains called a u-shaped trap called a u-trap this is basically a water seal in this u-trap which prevents the backflow of the sewage gases so what happened in this particular building is that you know people do not you know use flowing water to clean their floors of the bathrooms. And the drains, as a result, do not get filled with water and the seal is not made. Such a simple thing, such a trivial thing. And the seal is not made and there was a black backflow. And a lot of people were questioned. They said there were there is smell in their toilets. And they found there was a black flow of the sewer smells from the stack, that is the drain stack, back into the washroom. And this we will see later how is related to the spread of COVID. This is a typical U-trap and you know, this is, so the A and B is the water seal, you know, the difference. So, you know, you can actually uh, see in your own washroom in the floor drain, there is a trap. So whenever you see down below under the, uh, the mesh, there is always going to be some water all the time in the drain. That is actually a water seal which prevents the backflow of the sewer gases or the drain gases into your bathroom. But how was this responsible? We look at this excellent diagram. Here we see that infected resident introduces virus into the drainage system because there are virus laden aerosols created in the waste that is discharged by that person. And this goes up the stack and you can see in Number three, transmission of aerosols to upper apartment via depleted U-trap. In this particular case, the seal was not there, <coughs> you know, in this last case. And because of this exhaust fan, there was this uh, pressure that being created, which pulled this aerosol back into the bathroom from the uh, sewage because of somebody in some floor down below who, or, you know, even above, who did not have, uh, who, who have was sick, and because your floor trap did not work, because the seal was not there, there was a backflow of aerosols, which led to the spread, which was carried throughout the building, not only through traps, but also through the, you know, the vent systems, also through the shafts, you know, which are from this exhaust fan 
to the exhaust fan of the upper person. So what can we do about this? Very crucial, a very trivial detail, U-trap. You need to just make sure that your U-trap in your flow drain is always filled with water. All the dry, there should be no dry water closet, no dry wash basin in your toilet, and they should be always filled with water. Always try cleaning your bathroom floor with flowing water so that there's always water filled and there is no aerosol which can actually be pulled back into your bathroom from the drainage. So that was all. Thank you very much.